Today on the show, we have another heavyweight adjusting title fight on our hands. These two are competing for your time, your effort, your money, and your career. In this episode, we'll review being an independent adjuster versus being a staff or company adjuster for an insurance company. In the fight, it begins right now. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPAT, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPAT.com. Deciding whether you want to become an independent adjuster or a staff slash company adjuster is a big decision. But before we could decide which is the winner, we must first understand the differences in what each are to properly be able to compare them. First off, let's establish what a claims adjuster, whether independent or staff adjuster, actually does. A claims adjuster investigates insurance claims to determine the extent that the insurance company the adjuster represents is liable for and the amount that they're responsible to pay. Essentially, a claims adjuster is an investigator. This can involve talking to people, inspecting damages, reviewing photos, and a variety of other things. Now let's talk about being an independent adjuster. Adding the word independent in front of adjuster does not change the job's core functions. It is an indicator of your relationship with the insurance company. IAs do not work as employees for the insurance company, but instead insurance companies hire independent adjusting or staffing firms to find adjusters to handle claims for them. Independent adjusters are usually 1099 subcontractors. In plain English, an independent adjuster is a contracted or rented adjuster who is not on salary with any insurance company. An IA is a business owner, company adjuster. You might be shaking your head. This isn't at all what I was envisioning. I imagine being an employee for an insurance company. Okay, okay. That's being a company or a staff adjuster. These types of adjusters are employed directly by an insurance company as a W-2 employee. They are on salary. Now, let's look at the pros of being an independent adjuster. You own your own business. You're a 1099 contractor, but occasionally you can work as a W-2. You can work for multiple companies. You can work catastrophic or daily claims and even part-time. You have high earning potential. You can work auto, property, and desk work. You can easily change from one type of work to another. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. But what about the cons of being an independent adjuster? You must build your business. You're a rented adjuster, which has all sorts of stigma behind it. You can have inconsistent income. You're responsible for your taxes and expenses. And it can be very weather dependent, whether you have work or not. 
Now let's talk about the pros of being a staff or company adjuster. Consistent pay, because you're a W-2 employee. You probably get benefits. You work for one single company. Easy to remember stuff then. Consistent work and hours. Lots of career options, and there's always a demand for adjusters. Don't believe me? Just check Indeed. Let's talk about the cons. You work for a big company. <laughs> you have corporate red tape. You clock in and out, and that might affect your mindset a little bit. Earning potential is typically lower than being an independent, and you must work years to earn a promotion. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. Now, after all of that, who is the winner of this battle? Hate to break it to you, but only you can decide. It comes down to what type of life do you want? Do you need consistent income? Or are you looking for a home run earning year? Are you an entrepreneur at heart? Or someone who likes to work as part of a team? Do you need structure to be productive? Or are you a self starter that thrives under pressure? I don't know what the right option is for you, but whichever you choose, keep walking your path and claiming your life. If you need help deciding which is right for you, or you just need more information on the actual steps you need to take to become either an independent adjuster or an insurance company adjuster, you can check out the books that we've written called the Independent Adjuster's Playbook or the Insurance Company Adjuster's Playbook by heading to Amazon or to ipath.com slash books. My name is Chris Stanley and we at iPath are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.